The sun's surface is hot, about 6,000 degrees Celsius, but the upper layer of the sun's atmosphere, known as the corona, is about a million degrees hotter. Scientists want to figure out why. NASA's Interface Region Imaging Spectrograph, or IRIS, is a small satellite that will observe the way solar material heats up as it moves through the sun's lower atmosphere. Energy that seeps through the sun's interface region drives solar wind. Energy and matter flowing through the interface region have an impact on Earth, says the IRIS mission's principal investigator, Alan Title. What we want to discover is what the basic physical processes are that transfer energy and material from the surface of the sun out to the outer atmosphere, to the corona. And remember, the corona extends throughout the heliosphere. We live in the sun's outer atmosphere. The sun's ultraviolet emissions are generated in the interface region. They affect our planet's climate and the space environment near Earth. IRIS, with its ultraviolet telescope, will provide high-resolution images and even show individual towers of energy released by the sun. NASA says IRIS will observe temperatures from about 5,000 degrees Celsius up to about 10 million degrees Celsius during solar flares. But Title says IRIS will not be observing the sun from up close. IRIS flies around the Earth, so it only gets about 600 kilometers closer to the sun than here we are on Earth, and that's about 92 million miles away. The mission costs $181 million and is set to last two years, but scientists say the Solar Explorer can function much longer. Suzanne Presto, VOA News, Washington.